Hi there, my name is Chris Sales, manager of Sony Vision in Bolton. You're looking at today the Sony KDL32 CX520 or the Sony KDL40 CX520. So two screen sizes in this range, 32 and 40 inch. The model we're showing here is the 32 inch version, but it's the same specification on both models. They have digital free view tuners built into them. They're also 1080p resolution, so full HD, and they've also got some great internet services in this TV as well. Now, before we go into the menu and take a closer look at some of these facilities, we're going to take a quick look at the sockets on the rear. Your wall fixings on this particular range are 200mm by 200mm, so these are 200 so standard fitting. You've then got a uh, LAN connection, so Ethernet port on the back, so if you want to access uh, web services, you can do so through this TV. You've then got on here your aerial socket, so it's got digital free view tuner. Uh, you've got component in, which is the red, green, blue socket. A lot of um, games consoles use components. You've got the audio feed for the component just underneath there as well. You've then got uh, optical out, so if you want to feed the sound from this TV uh, via the optical cable out to an ex external amplifier, you can do so. You've then got three HDMI sockets in a row down here as well. Coming to the side of the TV, you've got uh, one USB just there. You've then got your CR, your cam slot for any pay-per-view material. You've then got an additional uh, USB. The USB here can be used for an external hard drive. If you want to do any recordings from the TV via the USB, you can do so. You've then got another HDMI, making four in total. You've then got the uh, VGA connection, so you've got a PC um, connection just on the side there, and your headphone socket as well. So as you can see, you've got a multitude of sockets available on this particular range of TV. The set itself is finished in a piano black finish, uh, and then you've got a sort of brushed dark aluminium finish just to the uh, bezel at the base of the TV. Comes with a pedestal stand, uh, which is on a swivel base as well. Obviously this can be removed so you can wall mount as well. So let's have a look at some of the menus on the TV set. The remote control has a button on here, which is coloured blue, it says home. If we press the uh, home button, it puts us up into the on-screen menu system. So running along the bottom here, uh, we've got various different options, and you've got up, down, right and left on the keypad, and OK in the centre. If we move along those particular settings, you'll see them changing down the right-hand side of the screen here. Good menu system on this TV as well, because it still leaves the programme on here, so you can still watch the programme while you are uh, working through the menu system. And we can get into um, things like internet video. So let's have a look at some of the internet content. So we're on internet content there. Just press OK in the centre. It will start to load up the various web services that are available through this TV. So it's loading up now. It'll give us various options for things like um, BBC iPlayer, Five On Demand, Sky News, uh, Love Film, various different options on there. And using the keypad, you can move up, down, right and left. As we move through those, you see the boxes changing on screen and there's other pages that you can get onto as well. We've now got YouTube, Daily Motion, various things on there as well. If we come back up from there and just highlight what you want to view, so if it was things like BBC iPlayer, it's highlighted on there now, you would just press OK in the centre and it would access BBC iPlayer for any catch-up TV that you may have missed. If we come out of that uh, menu for a moment, we'll have a look at some of the other facilities through here as well. So we'll just come out of the menu. You've got a button here that says options. Yet again, if you press the options button, it'll put the options down the screen here. So rather than having all the symbols down at the bottom for uh, accessing uh, various other things like um, um, adjustments for the picture or the sound, you can get them just through the options button. So if we come down there, you've got uh, picture, sound, screen format, various facilities uh, through this TV. So if we access the picture settings first of all, we'll have a look at some of the settings on there for you. So we've got on here now, uh, it says um, current, standard and so forth down the screen. If we go into picture mode and then just press OK, at the moment it's on standard, but it'll give us different options between standard, vivid, custom, and you can see the brightness and contrast changing. These are preset determined levels from the manufacturer. You can go into any of those settings and adjust the backlight, the contrast, the brightness, just rest on the one you want to adjust, press OK on the centre, and then moving right or left on the keypad there, you can adjust the colour or the contrast or the brightness, whichever one you've highlighted to adjust. Nice and simple to do. And you've got various other adjustments. You come down the screen there, sharpness, noise reduction systems, a lot of different options 
you can get into. You've also got advanced settings, so you know if you're feeling uh, particularly brave, you can go into the advanced settings adjustments, and you've got things like uh, black corrector, advanced contrast, clear whites, and various other adjustments you can get into on there as well, such as white balance, where you can start adjusting each primary colour, such as red, green, blue, for gain and bias. If you do mess it up and you're not sure about uh, basically how to get back to the manufacturer settings, you have got reset buttons where you can just reset all this. So uh, just have a play around with it, you can adjust it to your own liking. We'll come out of that menu for a moment. That's a quick look at the picture settings. If we go then back into the options menu and we'll have a look at the sound adjustments on here as well for you. And in the sound menu, yet again, you've got uh, sound mode is on dynamic. But yet again, there's preset modes for dynamic clear voice, which will bring up the vocals more and cut down on any background noise, and back to standard. But yet again, you've got adjustments in there for separate bass and treble controls. And you've also got uh, surround sound off, uh, which is just standard stereo sound, or you can force the sound out and around you to give you a, a pseudo surround sound from the TV set itself. So nice and easy to operate, so we're just using the home or the options buttons uh, on there. If we go back into the options menu for you, you've got some nice little facilities on this TV, uh, such as uh, things like track ID. If there's a piece of music playing on TV and you're not sure what that music track is, yet again, uh, you can identify that track just by pressing the OK button now. It will identify that piece of music for you. And you've got other things like uh, twin picture, so you can split the screen for... Um, picture on picture and you've got timer facilities so you can tell the TV to come on at certain times separate headphone uh, adjustments as well so you can adjust the volume for the headphones separately as well so a lot of um, little tweaks and setups that you can do to this particular TV range if you'd like some more information on this set please give me a call uh, my name is Chris on 01204 861 861 what I would say is please go through to our website which is soundinvision.co.uk there are hundreds of video clips just to give you sort of a, a more of an insight onto the product itself not just on TVs but on amplifiers home theater systems speaker systems as well or call into one of our stores in Bolton or Leeds so as I would say if you'd like more information please give me a call my name is Chris on 01204 861 861 thank you